word we could use to depict Rod Brindamore, that word would be passion. The passion he has for his family, the passion he always had for his teammates, the passion he still has for the game, and the passion he has for you, the fans. It's time now to hear from the man, ladies and gentlemen, Rod Brindamore. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> I tell you, I think if I always wanted to be a rock star, I think I just found out what it feels like. I want to obviously thank everybody and thank Kane's Vision for that wonderful video, Pete Soto and Donnie Sill for putting that together. And it's great for me to look back and, and see all the wonderful players I played with and against. And what stood out for me in that video was when I started my career, I actually did have a straight nose that I could breathe out of. <laughs> I, I'm obviously very honored and, and, and proud to be here tonight in front of you all. A chance for me to really give thanks to so many people that made playing in the NHL and playing for the Hurricanes possible. And I want to start by thanking the people that made my time here the most enjoyable. And that's obviously to thank the loudest and proudest hockey fans in the National Hockey League, and that's all of you. <laughs> Uh, maybe I should have finished with that. I don't know. Uh, I can honestly say that tonight I have an ultimate honor of having a banner raised to the rafters with the great, great players, Ron Francis and Glenn Wesley. But I can, I can honestly tell you that there's a banner up there that really holds a lot of significance to me and means maybe even a little more than these individual banners that are up there and it's a banner that you all had a huge part in making happen and you obviously all know the banner I'm talking about it's the Stanley Cup Championship banner of 06 I, I can honestly tell you that you guys willed us to victory many times that season and especially in game seven of the Stanley Cup Finals when we came out when we came out and you all stood for the whole game you you didn't let us let up for one second in that game and I'm pretty sure with, I'm 100% sure that you were not going to let that Stanley Cup out of this building without the Carolina Hurricanes name being stamped on it forever. And so, I thank you for making that night happen and then ultimately leading to making this night happen. I, I obviously have to thank the Carolina Hurricane organization, Mr. Pete Carmanos, Mr. Jason Carmanos, and of course Mr. Jim Rutherford for allowing this night to happen, for bringing me to Raleigh back in the 99-2000 season, and for bringing hockey to Raleigh. And, and for, for allowing me to be a, a player in this organization for as long as they did. <laughs> I have to say that I never would have imagined the relationship to last this long, especially based on my first impressions of, of Raleigh and hockey when I got here. 
I was tr obviously traded in the middle of the season and I was staying at a hotel and I had to ask for directions to get to the then entertainment and sports arena. And when I asked the guy at the front desk how to get here, he looked at me kind of strange and he said, what's that? And I said, well, it's, you know, where the Carolina Hurricanes play. And he said, who are they? And I thought, this might not be the best place to play hockey. But it, it didn't take me long to realize what a wonderful organization this was. It took me no time to realize what a wonderful area this was to live. But it, it took me absolutely no time to realize what wonderful people live in this area and we're starting to support this team. And it's pretty safe to say that in a, a relatively small amount of time, there's not too many people in this area that don't know where the now RBC Center is. And you'd be hard pressed to find someone who doesn't know who the Carolina Hurricanes are. And I, I'm really proud to have been a small, small part of the growth and success of hockey in this area. In, in thanking the Hurricanes, I, I also want to thank a lot of the media that have been way too good to me and the Hall of Fame broadcasting crew that we have of Chuck Caden and Trip Tracy and my man John Forslund. I want to thank you guys for not only the way in which you bring hockey to all of us, but thank you for trying to make me look and sound good on many nights when I know that was really hard to do. So. Thank you for that. I, I think it's only fitting that tonight we're playing the Philadelphia Flyers and uh, a team that I played the other half of my career. And I want to thank their organization for the gift. Uh, their Mr. Ed and Mr. Jay Snyder, really, for bringing me to Philadelphia at a young age. And along with their fans, which some actually are here tonight, Thank them for really showing me and instilling in me what passion and desire is all about at the NHL level. And it's something I tried to bring for all of you every night that I played. I guess if, if you play this game long enough, you're going to have a lot of great memories and you're going to have a lot of great moments to, to look back on and to remember. And I obviously have been very fortunate to have of a lot of them. And, None greater than, obviously, the already talked about Stanley Cup championship. And I want to thank some of those individuals that made that possible. And obviously, I want to start with thanking Mr. Jim Rutherford for assembling such an unbelievable, talented group of hockey players that year. Not just talented hockey players, because that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win, but guys with a lot of character that you could all be very proud of. And I was just honored to be a part of that team. And I'm honored that there's a few of those guys from this team that are here tonight. And we've already met a couple in, in Glenn Wesley and, and Brett Hedekin. And I want to thank those guys for being here tonight. Glennie, I know you kind of had to be here. It's your job. You work for the team. but. You know how much you meant to me uh, all those years and, and being beside you for so long. And it's a real honor that now we'll be up there together. So thank you for, for that. And, and to Brett Hedekin, thank you for flying all the way across the country to be here tonight. I think you said it best to me the other night that you're going to play this game a long time. You'd be lucky when it's all said and done to have a handful of players you could count on to be there for you no matter what. And I thank you for always being one of those guys for me. Thank you. I also want to thank four other guys that were on that team, guys that you and I now have the great pleasure of watching every night that were so huge in making that season so special. And you know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Cam Ward, and I'm talking about Eric Stahl, Eric Cole, and Chad LaRose.
And I want to thank those guys for the sacrifices and the contributions that they all made that year and that they made every year that I got the pleasure of playing with them. I know one thing is for sure is I'll never be able to be in that locker room again and call you guys my teammates. But one thing I take a lot of pride in knowing is that I'll always be able to call you guys my friends and that means more to me than, than anything. There's, a, there's also three other people I want to make special mention that had such a huge part of, of that championship year and ultimately making this night happen. And two of them are here tonight. And that's the coaches of that team. And I want to thank Mr. Peter Laviolette. Mr. Kevin McCarthy. And our now Charlotte Checker coach, Jeff Daniels, for taking that team and making it believe and care for each other like no team I'd ever been a part of. And I thank you. I know, Lavi, it took a while for you to warm up to me. <laughs> About a year. But I thank you for, for giving me every opportunity that a player could ever have or ever ask for. And ultimately, thank you for helping me realize my childhood dream in raising that Stanley Cup. So thank you. I wasn't the first to say it, and I, I heard this quote somewhere, and I liked it, and that is that the people that make a difference in your life are not necessarily the people with the most money or the most power or the best jobs. The people that make a difference in your life are simply the people who care. And I've been so blessed, obviously, to have so many people that care about me in my playing career, but I'm even more blessed to have so many people away from the game that truly matter. And I want to thank some of them that are here tonight. My brothers are here up in, in the box somewhere. And 